It's been three years since the Mouse River flood, and close to 300 homes remain untouched. Leanne Zaltinger decided that was too long, and in March began documenting those properties. After presenting her findings to the city engineer and seeing no action, she is now seeking a new kind of support. It was suggested that the only way I was going to do that was to show that I wasn't the only one, so I started a petition. I personally, in a week and a half, have gotten 250 signatures, which to me is pretty good. But she isn't alone. In her quest for support, Zaltinger met Jennifer Galdion, who has since collected around 50 signatures on her own because she wants those moving to Minot to see it's really a beautiful city. I think for the safety of our children, I think it's really important that they're not inhaling um, mold and stuff like that, you know, and they can play outside and feel comfortable. And the boarded up houses make our neighborhood look really trashy. Zaltinger also knocked at Bill Dennis' residence. He owns three properties that were flooded back in 2011 and said he immediately hired some help to fix each one as fast as possible. Well, good luck. Thank you. Worked with my contractor every day, eight, 10 hours a day till we got done. That's what it takes. You know, you can't, you can't sit and pout about it. You just gotta, you know, get your boots on and go to work. Zaltinger braves the cold in her mesh Nike tennis shoes. She's no stranger to standing up for what she believes is right. They all want something done. They want, either they have a, a house next door, a house across the street, um, they drive by a home every day that is in disrepair. They have homes that are smelly because the food is and belongings are still in there. Even if you wanted to move, it's hard to escape these zombie homes. It affects the property next door to as far as somebody wanted to sell. It's not good for our city. Nothing will get done unless somebody uh, gets on board and, and creates some interest and uh, get the city to you know get going. So I'm glad somebody's doing it. If I could just have everybody come to the auditorium and sign at one time, I think I'd have a thousand signatures. But it's hard work walking around getting them, but it's worth it. In Minot, Bonnie Campo, KX News.